Hi, this is Peter Billa from Shmula.com. What we're talking about today is the A3 problem solving method. And what I'd like to show you today is how a real A3 looks like after you've completed it. Now keep in mind the A3 is both a template or a reporting template as well as a process. And it's, the process involves having a mentor or a coach and it always takes two to A3. Now this example is from Toyota and uh, from 2004 and it is a an example of that attempts to answer the question why was uh, at the end of shift why were the end of shift duties not completed. Now this can be done really quickly in just being able to answer why it wasn't completed but what Toyota often does is identifies the key system problems or problems within the system that prevents that question from being answered. And so this became a 5S A3. And so I want to draw attention here. This is a clean catch, which is a, an internal name for, for the process. An objective, improve 5S compliance in the bin home positions. Now this is not Toyota manufacturing, but this is the supply parts distribution uh, arm of Toyota. The background. So at launch, each associate was assigned specific tasks rotated monthly. But in 03, 5S responsibilities were set by teams to support teamwork, but it wasn't being done. And so the first thing the team did was they did a fishbone analysis or the five whys. And so they wanted to better understand or grasp the situation. So 5S assignments were not clear. There was no ownership, shelf dividers, and face plates were falling, um, and a host of other items that they identified. And here are some pictures to, to demonstrate what the problem looked like. Root cause analysis. 5S is not being performed at end of day. Why? Expectations not clear. Why? Individual feedback not provided, and the root cause areas assigned by teams. Now the target. Now it's really important to have a target, target condition, so that we know what, what is expected of the process. A plan, and then responsibilities so that people are held accountable. And then the do part of PDCA is what to do, who's responsible, when it needs to be accomplished. And check is a review on whether or not the improvements or the countermeasures are working and if not then why not and so this is the iterative piece of PDCA and then act is what else needs to be done in the future and this piece here reflection is very important and is often one one part of uh, the A3 method that's that's not talked about much but it's very important because it causes us to do what's called Hansei, which is reflection, and, uh, and reflect also on the teamwork and the interpersonal parts of the process, and not just solving a problem, but how did we work together, and could we have worked together better? Thanks.